What up, everybody? It's story time with Teddy Ray, and I'm here to talk about the time I almost got arrested for weed in Houston. So, bam, this is me. Picture a young, swaggy nigga in the mind, full of confidence, fresh off walling out. I got my first few multiple bands in my pocket legally. So I'm in Texas doing some shows, feeling amazing. I'm smoking weed on the road. I'm blowing big trees. I'm down there with my boy Billy Sorrells, my homie Nate Jackson. We doing shows, we getting this cash. We, we have strip clubs after every show. It's beautiful. The trip was going amazing. I'm talking about like, nigga, my first time at a real strip club, a black strip club that they talk about, that they rap about. I went to Onyx in Dallas, nigga. It was beautiful. Chicks slapping their ass, telling me they from Gardena. Baby, I'm from LA too. So we staying on the north side of Houston, particularly in a whiter area, more friendlier. That's where the better hotels is at. But I'm a nigga. Everywhere I go, I keep the same energy. The same LA energy I have, smoking outside, smoking like just, I'm like, LA is beautiful. If you love weed, come to LA. That's what get niggas stuck out here. But in Texas, you gotta love something else. You gotta love Jeb Bush and uh, Dolly Parton in certain areas. Like, you gotta love it. Even the black people do rodeo down there and bump country music. I'm gonna take my bitch to the old town road. I wish, but back to my story. Bam, I'm in the hotel room. I, I'm breaking down some weed. I'm on my desk, you know, thinking I'm about to roll a blunt. I ain't got no blunts. We all done been there. Ah, I gotta hit the store. It's supposed to be a quick store trip. Shell right down the street, five minute walk. I didn't mind, I'm in Texas, I got money. Like, you know, life is good. I wanted to skip to get my blunts. That's how happy I was. I want y'all to know my mind state. I'm happy, I got weed, I got cash. My mama not on my ass about getting a job. Like, this was a, this was a beautiful space in my life. Billy Sorrells, y'all know him. Light-skinned nigga, think he genuine, but fuck all that. He was like, nah, bro, I'll give you a ride. Now, anytime a nigga offer you a ride versus your original route, just stick with your spirit. That ride is as sincere as that ride. I got a ride here today for my brother, and it was 36 minutes late because it was a nigga perked up in the back seat playing his motherfucking SoundCloud talking about what you think about this one. Nigga, I gotta get to my shoot. That's what I think about your bullshit ass SoundCloud, my nigga. But anyway, back to Billy Sorrells. This nigga offered me a ride. I was like, I'll take a ride. So a ride is supposed to speed it up. If it was a five minute walk, it's a two minute drive. This nigga had so many stops to make. He was like, oh yeah, we gotta go stop by the bank. Like he used me to just have a homie for errands. No nigga, I wanna smoke. I got, I'm in my pajamas. I got all wildin' out pajamas with no draws. Billy got me out there, he's stopping. He from there, he's saying what's up to people walking in the barbershops, having 30 minute long conversations. Bruh, I ain't got no underwear on, my nigga. I'm uncomfortable, I wanna get back to my hotel and smoke and chill. So finally, after two hours of just, Hey, what up there? What up there? Straight nigga errands. We ain't accomplished much. Uh, we get back to the hotel. I try to use my key to get in the room. and eh, It don't let me in. Okay, I know how to do this. I've been in hotels before. Maybe the key just went out. I'm gonna go get a new key. That was my plan, you know? But God was like, you tried it. Went to the front. This nigga was like, oh, you're in room 215. Yeah, we found contraband in your room. Now, contraband to me at that age was shanks. I watched a lot of jail shows. I was like, I ain't had no shanks in my room, nigga. He was like, no, it was marijuana on your counter. The housekeeper went in to clean and found it and reported it. And I was like, why would she report it? She just could have just smoked that shit. I, I took a loss, my bad. Just don't, don't tell. Don't tell. He was like, yeah, and uh, because she reported it, we have to report it to Houston PD. So they're en route right now here. And I was like, here? They en route today? Like, right now? 
He was like, yeah, you know, just stay, talk to the police. And I was like, I don't know if, and he was black telling me this horrible advice to stay and talk to the police. I know what this is finna be. Hell no, mm -mm. deuces, I'm out of here. Still, no draws. Had to go back and leave out and escape. We was with some, a couple wild and out girls at the time and they hid me in a van like a couple miles away. It was one of the wildest times because I'm surrounded by beautiful women, but I'm panicked about going to jail with no draws. Because it's Texas, they don't play about that weed. One blunt, one year. And you know, they not even adding the math up. They can be like, that's 28 grams. So we're giving you 28 to life. Fuck you, fuck you. I'm finna be at Whataburger up the street eating tater tots until my spirit feel right. So long story short, shout out to Billy Sorrells. He Johnny Cochran that thing for your boy. He went down there, talked to the police, talked hella fast and light skinned, moved around. You know, light skinned niggas, just, they, you need them in your life. They'll make a way sometimes. Cause I would've just shrugged it off, went and served that time. You feel me? And just held it down. But Billy was like, nah, I brought you to Texas. I'm making sure you're getting back to Cali. So don't ever leave weed in your hotel room in Texas. Please don't. And if you do, just put on that do not, do not disturb on your door. Last note, wear underwear every time. <laughs>